Hello and welcome to Love and Skulls Tarot, your three card randomized tarot reading channel. This week's deck is the Tarot of Strange Magic. You'll have to look it up on the interwebs. I can't remember the site where I got it, but the backs of the cards look just like the box. So I pulled this out. This is more of a Toth based deck and it is a creepy little deck full of doll heads. That's right, I just said doll heads. Let's get our subject. I'm excited for you guys to see this deck. It's a, it's a okay, we'll get that out of the way. All right, let's hopefully we come up with something good. Ooh, oh man, secrets, whoops. Secrets, sorrows, and self undoing. Nothing like a little light reading with the world's creepiest deck. It may not be the creepiest deck. It's pretty creepy. It's a pretty creepy little deck. So as ever, while I shuffle, disclaimer, tarot is not meant to be a replacement for a licensed professional such as a doctor, a lawyer, or a hairdresser. It is for entertainment purposes only. Second, I'm earthy. I swear a lot. I talk about social issues and sensitive subjects. So if that's a problem, click away. No offense taken. Let's keep you from getting offended. And let's get these suckers shuffled. They shuffle relatively easy. They're a little bit thicker cardstock. I don't think it's an expensive deck. I don't think it was over $30. But if you want to see strange wonders, see, I can't even remember it well enough. Okay, y'all. Is it? There. Strange Wonders Tarot. I totally had it wrong when I introduced it. But I'm going with it. You know, we live mistakes. Just like I let my black spray paint fingernails show. It is what it is. All right, three cards for secret sorrows and self undoing. Oh, geez, truth bomb's coming. Holy, oh, that roll. Ten of Cups. Oh boy, with secret sorrows and self undoing. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. I don't feel like we're getting too much sorrow or self undoing, although we will go over that last. I think we're just looking at secrets here. And there is somebody, this is a person, you know, these aren't always people to me, but sometimes they're people. Last time the Three of Cups was a people. So, I mean, you know, you never know. But there is a person who is generally can be kind of blunt. They might be kind of cutting, as the Queen of Swords can be. Generally intellectual, very bright. Somebody that has a lot of intellectual knowledge, probably a lot of learning, that is going to tell you something about love, pages being messages frequently, or it could be an androgynous person, but this is going to be a message here about love, right? So if this is, say, a crush, somebody that you have a crush on, they may be telling you that they like you back and that they want to give a really honest try to having a relationship. This is coming out as a romantic relationship. It can be a friendship too, and we'll get to that. This could also be you telling somebody how you feel about them and having a good outcome. This is probably going to be a good outcome. It is possible for this to, to hit sorrows and self undoing, but it's more, much, much more likely to be a good outcome. So somebody has a message that they're telling you with love, with love, about love in the most positive sense. And we're just doing the positive stuff first in case you get bored and you click away so you can hear the good parts with love that is about love so somebody's telling you that you are loved and there is a good outcome you are telling someone that you love them and there is a good outcome or you want to love them we could go to the place of this is one of your parents and your parents are single for some reason widowed divorced or never got married and they're letting you know that they've found somebody that they care about deeply and because we have the ten of cups of course this is their ten of cups it would be more positive for you this is not them loving some jackass who's going to try to kick the shit out of you 
It could also be somebody you know telling you that they're getting married that isn't related to you. I say married, I mean it going to be in a committed relationship. And when I actually say married, I, I, it counts for hand-fasted, married, um, domestic partnerships, etc. I, I, I don't care, whatever your commitment is. Okay, so let's move on to sorrows because all of what I said can just be hearing those things about other people that you care about and you want to be with can make you upset. So somebody that you're in love with, whether you, you tell them you're in love with them, or let's start, let's start uh, based on what I just said. This is somebody that you care about and you tell them how you feel about them, but they're in love with somebody else. This is very unlikely, but it could be. It's very unlikely because the cards are pretty positive. Or this could be somebody that you know telling you that they're about to step into a committed relationship with somebody else. And it could be the sorrow could be that you care about them. You've never told them or, and you may or may not have had plans to, but it makes you sad, right? One of your parents could be in a committed relationship and it makes you sad for some reason. It's just, it's unlikely, but I'm just gonna, just in case, just in case that has more resonance. <sighs> On the self undoing, it could be that you have a, a person that you tell how you feel, but they're in love with somebody else, right? I just said that, that's also sorrows. Or it could be that you have a tendency to fall in love easily because you are kind of addicted to this part of the process where you have all your feelings, you intellectualize, you're like, okay, this is what I'm going to plan. You speak the truth, which is where this comes in the most. And you say, Hey, I have feelings for you and everything goes great, but we don't know what's going on over here. So if it winds up being yourself undoing, that means that you're doing this very quickly and it might be really great at first. And, but there wasn't really time to get to know that person. That's only going to be a few cases. For the most part, let me reiterate that this is somebody that has a news that's loving towards you or you have news that's loving towards them that is going to come out to great benefit to all parties involved. That is far, far more likely than anything else in this case. And you know, it's really nice to have secret sorrows and undoing come out into something that's really positive especially since I'm not giving it a positive spin. I just gave you the negative heartbreaking spins that you could have. Yikes, ouchie, ouch. And thus concludes your three card randomized reading. Thank you so much for spending your time with Love and Skulls Tarot. I appreciate it.